Hello, how y'all doing? Hopefully everyone is well. I am doing good. Welcome back to Anu Image. This is your oracle, as you all know me, Jula the Dawn here. Hey. Um, back with another read, of course. Um, I'm just kind of feeling myself. I'm a little bit sleepy, and I've just been like in such a great mood today. So, don't pay me no mind. <laughs> Okay, but, you know, let's get to the down to the business. I'm about to do this read for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, we at? We at? Um, new deck alert. Angel therapy. And work your light. Sorry, I was just receiving a message. Work your light, angel therapy. I'm going to be pulling a card from each of the deck. Just one of each. Just a little additional guidance for all of the signs for the month of March 2019. This is the month to do your shit. Excuse my language for those who don't like profanity, but I'm just going to say it how I feel it. This is the month to beat your feet for every zodiac sign. Energies are... They're a little bit different so far. They're just kind of a continuation. You know, like every sign has been a continuation. That's how you know it's real because the story continues. But things are different. Things are moving along. Like I said, it's March. It's the, it's the month to do your shit, to start beating your feet, you know. So let's get it. Let us pray. Um, energy wise, like I really felt moved just now doing my prayer. Like literally, I don't know if it, I, it did it on camera, like if y'all could see it, but it was kind of like, like, so, and I just got the message like shift. It's a shift. So Scorpios, I don't know what's going on, but you know, definitely feeling some energies. Some new new type of energies going on, shifting going on. I do not own what y'all hearing in the background. It is the TV, YouTube, please. Please, please, please. Don't block my video. Because y'all caused me a whole day the other day with that.
Okay, I'm not taking all of these cards. What I will say is um, whoever this would um, resonate with, free yourself, healing family issues, release your ex, and reconciliation. So if that resonates with anybody, you know, Handle yourselves accordingly. That was too many cards, so. Also, um, if you're just on the World Wide Web and not anybody in my um, in my town, Columbia, South Carolina, or the surrounding areas, or you don't know me personally or are friends with me on Facebook, y'all go check out our new image Facebook page um, because we're going to have other, other things going on there, more offers there, you know. Same, same thing, same type of time, but different things going on because it is Facebook. I know image is spelled the same. Look it up. I really got, I keep saying this, this is like the second video. I've been saying I need to oil this chair. Hmm. All right, Scorpios. Okay, so 
energy surrounding the situation. We have the victory card. We have the appreciation card in the reverse. We have a man holding a heart. And we have the deceit card. Okay. So, either somebody is loving you, Scorpio, whether it be a man or a masculine energy, or you're loving somebody and you want to give them your heart. Um, there is or has been deceit in the relationship, but victory is at the head of the reed. So, it could either be saying that... Uh, you're deceiving yourself thinking that you will have victory in this relationship or you will have victory over the deceit and whatever other issues in regards to this relationship. Um, then we have the appreciation card and the reverse. So, you know... Someone someone was deceiving the other, whether it's the Scorpio or their counterpart. Somebody was deceiving them and did whatever they did to them. I'm feeling because they didn't appreciate them the way that they should have been appreciated. Um, We're going to look into it a little bit deeper with the um, clarifying cards because I'm getting like three stories. Um, one Another one is that, you know... A masculine energy or a male actually loves you and you will have victory with this person because they were deceiving themselves and you by not showing you the appreciation that you deserve. That's why the man holding a heart is at the bottom of the read. It's like they loved you, but they were deceiving themselves and they were deceiving you by not appreciating you. So that's like two, three different stories going on there. We'll see what's going on with the clarifying of the tarot. Okay, so from the Romance Angel deck, we have the codependency card. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then we have the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, so from the Abundance deck, we have focus on your priorities where you put your fo your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they need and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So that piece of advice could either be for the Scorpio or their counterpart because priorities is under the codependency card, which talked about addictions. Um, it could be addictions to people, places, or things, lifestyles, energies, thought patterns, whatever, whatever someone is addicted to and having a hard time letting go of. And it's like, if you're putting your attention into something that you may be addicted to, that may be negative, like you're taking away from putting focus onto the things that you want and need to do that could bring you abundance. These cards, this card here, the focus on your priorities is coming from the abundance deck. So focus on your priorities and that'll bring you the abundance that you seek. And as the card says, and you deserve. So that could be either for the Scorpio or their counterpart. And then we have bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift. And I said something about shift because the vibe that I was getting while I was praying. But spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limited, limitless vastness. And that's something I've been doing because, um, just pausing to read it for a second from my personal life, like, um, I've, I've been saying, if y'all haven't watch other readings for other signs. I've been saying that I have myself have been going through something like ever since the new year, like the blood moon took me through something. The retrograde took me through something else. And it's just like, you know, like I have to remind myself it's not happening to me. It's happening for me. And I'm just trying to empower myself. And I had got off of my, my workout regimen 
because I was like in my feelings or whatever from everything that I was going through. I'm actively gaining my weight back and I am upset about it. So I just started taking this time because I'm on spring break from class right now. I just started taking this time to get outside. Like I've been going outside. The sun is so beautiful. I live in the South and South Carolina. So the sun is out. It's beautiful out. Like it's full full springtime weather going on right now even though our weather here is very fickle it could be cold next week but as of right now it's great and I've just been going outside walking again getting my exercise back up trying to boost my energy and my vibration and I wish I had some tea I should have made some tea before I sat down want tea but just boosting my energy and my vibration and just getting back grounded to the way I was before the new year hit but anyways, um, so yeah, go outside or something, you know, walk, exercise, meditate under the tree, you know, go play with the pets, go take the dogs for a walk, go jogging or something, you know, just get active and get outside. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the clarifying cards so we can see what's really going on. Father, Mother, God, would you please clarify the deceit card? Okay, hold up now. For some, not for everybody. Six of Wands. Two of Swords. This is like a victory recognition card. And I said, I accepted these cards. This is a bonus. So like I said, for some people, the victory card at the head of the read. Somebody's thinking that they have a victory here, but it's not. It's a block. Okay. I'm going to keep those and put them under the card. That's just for some people. Some people are thinking that they have a victory, but there's a block. Father, Mother, God, would you please clarify? The story, wanna, it wants to jump out. Like, it's like, you know how something's on the tip of your tongue, but you can't say it, but it's like the cards. They're so, the energy is so actively trying to come out. Like, Father, Mother, God, please clarify the deceit card for Scorpio, March 2019. Please and thank you. Please clarify the deceit card for Scorpio, March 19, March 2019. Father, Mother, God, please and thank you. March 19th might be important for somebody. What's that? Tuesday. So y'all let me know. Come back and let me know. <clears throat> Father, Mother, God, please clarify the victory. Father, Mother, God, please clarify the victory card for Scorpio, March 2019. Please and thank you. Father, Mother, God, please clarify the victory card for Scorpio, March 2019. Please and thank you. Father, Mother, God, please clarify the appreciation card in the reverse for Scorpio, March 2019. Please and thank you, Father, Mother, God. Please clarify the appreciation card in reverse for the Scorpio for March 2019. Please and thank you. Father, Mother, God, please clarify man holding a heart card 
for Scorpio, March 2019. Please and thank you. Father, Mother, God, please clarify. Ooh, okay. Father, Mother, God, please clarify. Man holding a heart. For Scorpio, March 2019, please and thank you. Take both of them. All right, Scorpios. So, again, like I was saying, for some people, some people think they have a victory, but they really don't. The first clarifying bunch, you know, somebody think they have a victory, but they don't. And that's what that's that's the why the deceit card is here. And also for the people who, like I said, at the beginning of the read, if the cards were to come out, something about a reconciliation like. I think reconciliation may be on the horizon for some couples where deceit was in the midst, like past tense. And, you know, they say this is a soulmate twin flames card for um, Wands 11, 11. Um, but it's like about home life foundation, you know, solid, sturdy, real foundations. And I think that you, whether it's the Scorpio or the counterpart, whoever was the one being deceived, I think because there was hostilities and arguments inside of the home, it led to deceit and lack of appreciation for their counterpart. So I guess they stepped out or whatever, you know, whatever happened with that. But because it was conflict in the home. Also, another story that I'm getting from these two cards is, you know, reconciliation may be on the horizon, but I'm feeling like it's going to have to be fought for and not fought like physically like scrapping or anything like that, unless that's what y'all doing. I don't know. I don't advise that y'all get into all of that, but you know, you're going to have to fight for it and fight as in work for it. Fight, you know, your demons. Fight, you know, outside influences. Fight to, you know, and I, like I said, not physically fight and not even arguing, like verbally fighting, but just fight it off. Like fight off the, the temptation. Fight the urge to be in a hostile nature. You know what I'm saying? Just fight, fight the energies. Fight spiritually for your home. If you want this, you're going to have to fight for it. All right. Um, I'm going to go to the bottom of the read. Man holding a coin card is being clarified. The first card that came out was the tower in reverse. Um, first thing I'm getting from this card is like the reconciliation where the home was being broken apart. It's a chance that it'll come back together, but it has to be fought for. And I feel like people are having to fight what whatever demons are residing within themselves in order to bring the home back together. Number one. Number two is I think that because of the deceit, because of the lack of the appreciation that Somebody went through, whether it's the Scorpio or the counterpart, because of the bickering in the home, because of, and this is a card clarifying the victory card, but you know, that unequal give and take because it's a six of pentacles, it could have very well been three here and three there, you know, but there's one here, two here, three there. So this person's getting more, this person getting some, and this person is pocketing like I could have gave you. So I could have gave you some so it would be balanced, but I kept some for myself. So you getting less than this other person. You know what I'm saying? Because of the unequal give and take, because of the bickering, because of the this four of cups card, which is clarifying the unappreciation card, because I made you wait, you know, because this card is also clarifying the unappreciation. I mean, the appreciation card in reverse because I left you on stuck you know what i'm saying because i walked out on you you know what i'm saying because i turned my back because of all of these things i think that somebody doesn't know or doesn't think that this person is actually in love with them and holding a, a space in their heart or their heart belongs to them and it's gonna come in as a shock if this person were to you know express this love but it's a shock it's something that they don't know that this person does feel that way towards them. 
And it could also very well be with the deceit. Like I was saying, somebody think that they have a victory. Like you really think that this person loves you, but it's going to shock the hell out of you that this person is, you know, it's a block. Like you think you have victory, but you don't. Okay. And then also when I went to go get one more card, because I pulled two cards for clarifiers, one more came out. It's the magician and the ace of wands. So I'm feeling like high power manifestation with for the people who are actually reconciling, you know, it's like two people. I'm feeling like these are two people who are actively fighting their demons because they want victory because they are twin flame soulmates, whatever you want to call it, but they fighting for their home. They're fighting for their foundation, their stability. They're fighting for their rights to love like, and they're making it happen, fighting their demons. You know, they say the magician card is about, like, you think of a magician. Like, I don't know if anybody has ever been, like, to a root doctor or a witch or whatever. Like, when you go to them and you get in, like, a concoction made up, they either have all of the ingredients or they know where to go get all of the ingredients. This person has a sword, a wand, a cup, a pentacle. So that's all the suits in the tarot. And they have this here. This is probably like a celentine, celentine um, crystal. The crystal that charges all the crystals. They have um, rosebuds. You know, rosebuds are used in spiritual baths. They have all the stuff that they need. And they're making up this concoction to be able to like spiritually fight. And this person has the will. All they need is their wine. If I say, if, if I put my attention in this and say I'm going to do it, it's done. So it's like two people coming together to turn their breakup, what would be the tower moment, upside down and fight for their love and fight for their, their home and fight for their foundation. All right. So next up, we have the appreciation card in reverse. Which is being clarified with, again, the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords. It's like, I feel like somebody turned their back and walked away from somebody in the battle. Like, again, they were supposed to be fighting for the home. And they turned around and left the battle. Like, if you can see what's going on, it's like... Somebody left the battle. They fighting for the home to go chase after somebody else. And it was a lack of appreciation shown when it did that. Because it's like, I'm fighting. We we supposed to be fighting together. like, Or maybe somebody was fighting somebody else's battle. Fighting for somebody else. And then it's like, okay, so I'm fighting for you. And then you turn your back on me. Like, you really appreciate me and then had somebody waiting on top of that. Like, waiting while they went and chased whomever, you know. And it was a lack of appreciation. The victory card is being clarified with the six of pentacles and the temperance card. And I'm feeling like, for the two different stories... For the first group who think they have a victory and they really don't, it's like you're being patient and you're tempering yourself for nothing. And it's like, I'm just having a vision of like, I don't know if anybody else's child does this, but my child, like when she washes dishes, she plays with the water. And you see these two cups, it's like, uh, uh, like you just, you wasting your time because... It's still two people. And for the person who, like, the person who thinks they have a victory, you probably on this side. You getting three. The other person's only getting two. And then this person who's the giver or whatever is putting one in their own pocket for themselves. But it's like, you satisfied with this three. You think you got a victory because you're getting more than the other person. But if it was just you and this or you and this person here, y'all could have six. You have three, they have three. Y'all can have six all together. But just because there's somebody else in the picture, y'all only got four. Because they still giving two to this other person. You think you have a victory, but you don't. And that's for the first group. 
for the second group, it's like, like I said, this person turned their back uh, um, to chase after somebody else and had you waiting and all of this stuff. You were tempered. You were patient, you know, and it's like what you have victory over is this. You have victory over this. I don't know how. Maybe it's because they're fighting their demons and they're like, I'm not going to be able to give to two. I'm going to, and, and giving to two doesn't mean money. Giving to two means I'm loving two different people. I'm spending my time with two different people. I'm giving energy into two different situations. You know what I'm saying? Like if you stop, if the person, whoever is doing the two timing stops giving love, energy, time, thought, whatever to a, the, another person, an outside party, y'all union would have more. So maybe, you know, because of people fighting their demons, high powered manifestation, you know what I'm saying? Manifesting that the tower be in reverse, you, that's what you're defeating. You're defeating the being two timed, you have victory over that because of your patience. Okay, so I ask to be shown by God, Father, and Mother God, the answer to the questions on the heart and the mind of the Scorpio for the month of March 2019 is to communicate clearly. Whether it be to God, whether it be to your counterpart, communicate clearly, make your request known. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Don't go back and forth within yourself, you know. All right. So for the extra guidance for Scorpio's March 2019. Mm. So this card, Pleiades, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That's the card from the Work Your Light deck. And it reads, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So maybe this is one person's energy, whether it's the Scorpio or the counterpart. Maybe one person is pulling a double mission to save this. Who knows? But let's read it and let's see what's going on. And this is from the transmission suit of the Work Your Light deck. Transmissions. All right. The Pleiadians... So this is the Plades, is that the Pleiadians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They have been incarnating on earth since near the beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has a double mission to grow at soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. If you have been called to write, speak or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided. Of all the souls, Pleiadians are the chattiest. So perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension. Thank you for doing your part in the great plan. Your presence and unique light is needed. Transmission, and I'm going to do this because I am a Scorpio. Hold the card on your heart and say, I call upon Pleiadian consciousness of the highest realm and highest good of humanity to work through me. Let me be a channel for the purest light of the essence of source. Let me channel in a way that also serves me. So just a confirmation as a Scorpio. Um, I actually, I think I, I think I have more than a double mission. I have a few missions, but I do write. I speak and I channel. I do all three of those things. Like I actively write, like I'm an author. I'm actually self-publishing a book. It's going through the second round of the second time of editing long story editing so that I could put it out or whatever. And I will let you guys know because 
my publications company is under the umbrella of Anu Image, so y'all will know. But I write um, fiction. Um, I write poetry. I write lyrics. I don't do that professionally, but I write lyrics to music or whatever. I speak. Um, I speak on this platform here. Um, I am... I'm speaking this into existence because I got nominated to do this and I have a, a registered seminar that I have to do in order to be able to do this. But I am speaking into an exist, speaking it into existence that I am a scholarship ambassador at my university. So I will have to do uh, speaking engagements to, you know, get my peers to actively seek scholarships because I myself have been awarded a couple scholarships because I'm smart or whatever, but, um, and channel, um, I am somewhat of a medium outside of card readings, you know, um, I can channel people have pa that have passed away, these are gifts that I naturally have had, um, I just, I've, I've always used my gift, but I've never like literally like tapped into my gift for real until the end of last year. But and I keep saying I need to do a story time. I need to do a story time because I just need to tell y'all my story or whatever. Y'all going to be like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm writing a book about that as well. I just started writing a book about the past 11 years of my life. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so be willing to forgive. This card reads, ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So for the people who are looking to reconcile, in order to get past the deceit, being unappreciated, you know, being given less than and all the things that you've been through with this person, you have to forgive. And it's not forgiving for them forgiving is for you because it's a negative and toxic energy that you carry along with yourself listen true scorpio here depending on what you did to me it is the hardest thing in the world for me to, to for me to forgive and that's just a fact of me it is so hard like i am so loving so when I'm hurt, when I'm unappreciated, when I'm given less than, and all of this stuff, because I done been through this stuff too, bickering, and fussing, and fighting, and all of that, it's the hardest thing for me to forgive. I'm working on it just like y'all, so I ain't, I'm not here to tell y'all, forgive that person. Child, it's hard. It's hard, baby. I don't know. But yeah, let's read the card and see what it says. Well, from the booklet and see what it says about the card. The angels are trying to help you with the topic of your question by urging you to heal anger related to past experiences and relationships. This old anger has become a barrier. Okay, so this is clarifying something for me. Maybe, just maybe, the Scorpio is the block on this victory because of anger. This could be anger. This is fighting a hostile energy, fighting within yourself because you're still angry because of all the things that you went through. But okay. Okay, this old anger has become a barrier to attracting your desires as well as a magnet that attracts similar situations to your side. This is a very important message and your little bit and your little bit of willingness to forgive is all that's required. You don't need to forgive the action that occurred in the past. You simply need to be willing to allow the angels to help you clear away the toxic poison of unforgiveness from your mind and heart. In this regard, you are trading your pa trading pain for peace. The benefits of forgiveness include increased peace of mind, renewed energy, and the ability to focus. Action steps. In a quiet location or while falling asleep, say the following either out loud or silently. The angels hear your thoughts. Archangel Raphael, I call upon you now. I am willing to forgive. I want to put nobody out there. Um, 
and release all stored up anger from my physical, mental, and emotional bodies. I am willing to release pain in exchange for peace. Um, India Ari song comes to mind. I release all disappointments from my mental, my physical, my spiritual, and emotional bodies. I'm I'm out of breath. I've been telling y'all I need tea. I'm over here with a dry throat. Do not laugh at my little messed up singing I just did. I can do a little bit better than that. Okay. I am willing to release pain in exchange for peace. Then breathe in and out deeply which enables you to become Raphael's loving and powerful cleansing process. Excuse me. Then breathe in and out deeply, which allows you to open to Raphael's loving and powerful cleansing process. Repeat this step as, as necessary if you find yourself ruminating about anger or resentment. And then the next page is books, which is for me. Because I've been, you know taking the needed steps to get my book published or whatever. It's been a long journey. My book was finished like two, three years ago. But, you know, God's timing is perfect. So I ain't going to rush the process because I learned so much about self-publishing, you know. But anyways, this is Jula the Dania Oracle. Sending love, kisses, and blessings to you all. Signing out. I'll see y'all next go around. Peace.